Jared Jennifer, a few months ago, a constitutional amendment that passed by Ohio voters protected several reproductive rights here in Ohio. But that doesn't necessarily mean things can't change. Back in November, Ohioans approved an overarching reproductive amendment that not only addressed abortion, but also fertility treatments, which does include in vitro fertilization or IVF. I can't see how the Ohio Supreme Court could logically look at the Reproductive Freedom Amendment and say at the same time that the Constitution believes that any fertilized embryo is a person. Here at the State House in past years, there have been efforts to define personhood at the point of conception. But with the amendment in place, lawmakers cannot preempt the Constitution. To my knowledge, there's no current uh, legislative activity. Professor of Law Dan Coble tells me while the Ohio Supreme Court and the Ohio Legislature likely cannot take any direct action, some things are still up for interpretation, like a wrongful death suit for a frozen embryo. If a clinic were negligent in storing embryos and people wanted to sue for that negligence, I don't think there'd be anything in Ohio's Reproductive Freedom Amendment that would prevent that. In Ohio, there have already been lawsuits related to that. Back in 2019, 150 families settled lawsuits with university hospitals in Cleveland after a faulty freezer destroyed eggs and embryos. But as far as personhood of an embryo goes, Coble says likely the only way to preempt the state constitution is at the federal level. 125 congressmen are signed on to a personhood act. If they do enact a law that said that, that would have huge implications. Back here at the State House, the sponsor of last General Assembly's Personhood Act tells me he likely won't be introducing it again before the end of the year. And other than federal law, the only way to preempt Ohio's current constitution is by introducing and passing another amendment to unravel what voters approved just a few months ago. Local for you at the State House, I'm Natalie Fami, NBC4.